The Kaduna State Government has reiterated its commitment to continue collaborating with security agencies in ensuring the protection of lives and property of core members deployed to the state. The state government stated this at the swearing-in ceremony of 858 core members of 2023 Batch B Stream 1 Orientation Course of the National Youth Service Corps in Kaduna State. Speaking, Kaduna State Governor Uwa Sani, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Human Services, Stephen Joseph, says welfare packages, condu conducive environment and safety of core members are topmost priority for core members deployed to the state. On his part, the Kaduna State Coordinator of the NYSE, Hassan Tara, urged the youth to be disciplined and avoid any act capable of tarnishing the image of the scheme while assuring them of safety to the place of primary assignment. Kaduna has been bedeviled with uh, a lot of security challenges in the past, but because of the seriousness of governments to ensure that these uh, challenges are nipped in the board, there are a lot of issues, uh, programs that have been put in place to ensure that the security and lives of not only the core members that are posted to Kaduna said, but the whole citizens is taken care of by the government. We have a lot of security agencies we are into collaboration with. We have so many, uh, what you call, security outfits. We have the local ones, and we are into collaboration with the federal security agencies. And uh, I want to assure you that uh, the lives and properties of everybody, including the core members posted to Kaduna State, is guaranteed. It is very critical, very paramount, as far as the NYS scheme is concerned, as far as the Kaduna State government is concerned. So for us to remain in Government College Kaduna being our temporary orientation camp, it means there must be a secu security reason behind that. When the security agencies in Kaduna are satisfied with the improvement of security within Kaduna and its environs, surely they will advise the state government to relocate the orientation camp from the temporary site to the permanent site. Some of the core members with disability deployed to Kaduna states expressed delight at being in the north for the first time to serve the nation, saying the environment is friendly and the people are accommodative. They called on other persons living with disability to see their disability as a strength, not weakness, of becoming great in life. I was posted here. When I saw my call up later, I was uh, kind of uh, saying that... Uh, how will I feel there? Who will I see to assist me due to my condition? Most of the army men here, they also, they also show concern, they show caring to me, and the way they are taking care of me, it's as if I'm a son to them. So, although I love here, they are, they are taking good care of me. But I want to really stay here, explore the place, get to know the people, their culture, their way of life, their food, and all of that. What they lack, where I can play my role in societal development in the place. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.